Hello 3R United Friends. Welcome to our channel. Hope you will enjoy. Please like, comment, and subscribe. The Force of Buddha's Palm Part 2 Publisher by Tony Wong White Jade Dragon spurned the Floral Palace. For a common slave girl, this love sealed their fate. They fled the palace, and she bore twin boys. The Astro Clan assassin slew the young lovers. Then, seeking the infants, came the princesses. The most evil of the two was the elder sister. The Glacial Moon Princess. She found the lovers joined in death. And sought to eliminate their seed. Sister, wait. Listen. I've thought of something better. But the blade had already nicked one of the babies. How dare you stop me? Hear me. I've a better revenge. Let them suffer a lifetime of torment. Right now, no one knows that White Jade Dragon had twins. Nine continents, as his sworn brother, I as certain to come. We shall take one baby and nine continents the other. Sister that's inspired. He'll know Floral Palace was responsible. One day, the boy will seek vengeance. But we will have raised his brother teaching him our special skills. Yes. Fratricide. Whichever survives will learn. That he just killed his only brother. The twins will be well matched. What a duel it will be. No man rejects me, White Jade Dragon. Now you must reap the bitter harvest. I couldn't part you two in life. But I shall. In death. Come, sister. We must leave evidence of our responsibility. Nine continents must know. A blossom or two should do. At least I've saved his sons. That's the best I can do for now. But for how long? And at what cost? Meanwhile, in a windswept village nearby. Woo. Woo. There's a customer here. I can always send you home to sleep your fill, you know. Calm down, boss. I'm going. I'm going. This is Lipo Tavern. Masters welcome. We've got the best wine and food on the road. Hard to believe that this broken down old shack is where that famous poet stayed. Well, you know how. It is with poets. Fame, but no fortune. Masters, what will it be? Your finest wine, and hurry up with the food. Too bad the poet's dead or we could treat him to a drink or two. What's that stink I smell? And must I look at this vulgarity? Who's this son of a bitch with the big mouth? Innkeeper. Some wine to lift my spirits. Jerk. Easy, the boss is due soon so don't get in any trouble. The boss only told us to come here with a gift for someone. But who? For nine continents. The famous kung fu fighter. No fooling. Hasn't he been a recluse for all these years? Yeah, but the boss found out where he is. They say he's half man half wizard. His Buddha sword techniques can slice through iron as if it were mud. And at night, his blade shines as if it were alive. The boss learned he's around here somewhere. I wonder what he is like. Bah, exaggeration. There's no such person and no such sword. Oh, yeah. Who told you to butt in? You don't even know this nine continents, so what are you plubbing around with a sword for? You're a fake. So, maybe I am not a famous fighter, but this sword here. Ha! Huh? That rusty piece of scrap metal? I say this sword of mine is the same one that slices iron like mud. If you don't believe me, why not put it to the test? That's big talk. I could cost you your life. Sure, sure. Then test it. We shall. My sword. You barely touched my sword and it shattered. How? Boss, 
We may have been wrong about that one. He may be a skilled fighter. But he seems so poor. He's been here three days, only drinking wine. At last. I've found the right place. The sword's good but it's wasted on a poor man like myself. Perhaps I can change some of that, stranger. I'll give you a thousand ounces of silver for that blade. Indeed. Fort had some, I agree. Be cautioned. That sword works only for the virtuous. Lest it turn to base metal. I'm certain you'll have no trouble. Oh, yeah. Right. That must be him. Ha, with this smord. I'll be unbeatable. It's the boss. What manner of sword is this? Allow me to inspect this weapon. Certainly, Master Sum Hung be the first to test it. Wait will you see this, boss? I don't believe. This it? It broke. But. But I just saw that guy break my own sword with it. Verily, a fool is birth at every moment. Was this Nord seller about Fordish, with striking eyes and a red mole? Yeah, boss that's him. Only one man alive can make cheap metal behave like the most precious. Of swords. Congratulations, gentlemen, you have just been duped by none other than. Nine continents. Sir. Nine continents. Wait. Are you a messenger from my sworn brother? Yes, I'm the attendant from his household. What the hell? Has taken you so long. I. I was delayed. I was afraid of being followed. So I only traveled by night. Your master wrote to me. Said he was about to become a father and needed help. What's wrong? I'm not sure, he only told me to sell all his land. Then to come here and tell you to meet him along the old pathway. When did he leave? It must have been after you'd already set out. None of this makes sense. Master Nine Continents. A moment please. My name is Sum Hung. I am a samurai chieftain. And I seek your help. I'm afraid it will have to wait. I'm in a hurry right now. Give him the chest. Just a small gesture. In the hope. That you can stay a while. Ah, gentlemen, our generosity flatters me. But no gift in the world can delay my meeting with White Jade Dragon. I must decline. Please reconsider. The Astro Clan intends to plunder a large money shipment I'm guarding. Alas, they are too powerful for me alone. I wish I could help you, some hung. The Astro Clan and I will meet eventually anyway. But not now. Well sir, you can sign me to my fate, so be it. I'll go on ahead. You follow as quickly as you can. As you command master. Within moments, the men stare after him with. Gaping jaws as nine continents vanishes in the distance. Long before he arrives. Nine continents sees the darkling vultures wheeling in the sky. The ominous portent proves real. All too real. No. It is a grim tableau. Enough to make even a hardened warrior. A veteran of a thousand battles, root his feet to the earth and stare in mute horror. Oh, brother. White Jade Dragon. I am too late. Eh. What's this? A floral dart. Only one place uses such a weapon. The Floral Palace. The die is cast. I nine continents, vow to avenge my brother's death. Whether it takes me into the dragon's lair. The tiger's den, the demon's realm. The Floral Palace shall know my wrath. Wait a moment. Little fellow. You must be White Jade Dragon's son. Poor baby. Orphaned at birth with a scar on cheek for life. A scar that can come from but one place. Floral Palace. I'll raise your son for you, sworn brother. I will teach him all my skills to that one day. 
he will go to Foral Palace and avenge your death in person. Silently, he places the bodies of White Jade Dragon and Floral Slave into the cart. I will return, and see to your burial. Who is this? The Astro Clan? So. The Astro Clan had a hand in this as well. Hush now, child do not cry. For vengeance shall be curs. Meanwhile. Boss, are you sure this is where the Astro Clan wanted to meet you? There. Up ahead. Who is representing them? Golden Mookie and Mystic Dog. But they're too late. I've had the money delivered secretly. It should already be there. Pray that they make it. We are still responsible. That sudden wind. Feel it? It is somehow unnatural. Hear that? A dog barking. Boss, look. Over there. Suit yourself. I'm not afraid of these guys. I don't like this. Bunch of damned ignorant beast. As if linked by a primal telepathy, the animals leap simultaneously. No. Not the throat. Did you see that? By the Astro Clan. They've killed him. What's he throwing? A peach. They've left a peach behind. Those beasts, they're from the Astro Clan. I am Golden Ape of the Astro Clan. How good of you to come. Men, we mustn't be rude. Go down and welcome our guests. Yes. A hearty welcome. Quickly back to back. Richt. And cheek to cheek. Hey, boss, this is one hell of a mess. Maybe so, but have you looked behind you? Come on, you yapping hyenas. We're not afraid of the likes of you. The beast return. Yup. More bad news. The animals first. Then we'll fight our way cut? If you say so, boss. Some hunk coils his whip chain. Back, devil beast. Back. I say. Hold still, you blasted baboon. Stand and fight. Damn you. Boss. I am coming. Hang on. You. You've killed him. Die, monkey. Driven by fury, some hung lashes out once more. How dare you kill our assassin beasts. For that I'm going to carve you like a steak. Good man lies dead. Prepare to join him. It'll be fun killing you and spending your silver. You cocky little bastard. A hundred ounces of silver to the man who takes his head. This guy's tough. Have to move in close. Take that, sucker. As some hung reels from the force of the blow, the jackals tighten their deadly circle. Must keep fighting. Can't keep this up. I'm injured. Coughing blood. Good fight. Save a piece for me I. Look out below. Have to put everything into one final cast of my whip chain dash. My god. He caught it. In his bare hands. Now it ends, little man. To be continued next part. Thank you for watching if you like this video. Hit the button please like, comment, and subscribe thank you 3R United Friends may God bless you.